Hi, Kevin Lang, Combine Product Specialist with Lang Diesel. Today I'm going to show you how to calibrate a header on a Gleaner Combine. For this example today we're going to use a brand new 9255 Dynaflex header, but the process is very similar for most headers. The first step to calibrate your header is to run your engine up to full RPM. Next step, press and hold COW1 until the lights start blinking. As you can see here, the lights are blinking across the side panel. The first indicator light is next to the arrow down, so lower your header all the way down to the ground. Once there, hit COW2. After a second, the blinking light moves up to the up arrow, so run your header all the way up. press COW2 again. Next the blinking light will move over to header left. The light will be to the left side of the header. That means put the left side of your header down. So tilt down to the left. Hit COW2 again. Next the light will switch to header right. and hit COW2 again. Then all of your lights should start blinking again. So you level out your header. Usually I like to put it back down on the ground, make sure you're parked on flat level ground. Um, that way you can just make sure you got it nice and level. Seems like always when you try to eyeball it, you never get it quite right. So level it on the ground. And I always raise it all the way back up just for good measure. and hit COW1 to exit. Now, if no lights start flashing and you don't hear any beeping, that means you had a successful calibration. Um, but this is a, a great thing to do, uh, you know, every time you get the combine and header out uh, before each crop, run through this calibration. It'll make your auto header height controls work uh, the best, um, as well as it will uh, allow you to set your cutoff height and um, other settings like that. So first I'll show you how to calibrate your drag rods. You would typically use these uh, when you're running the header in rigid mode, uh, for example, for wheat. Um, there's a sensor on each end under each drag rod and pretty simple, up underneath, there's a little Allen wrench set screw, uh, or eighth inch. And then there is a screw on this side to adjust your potentiometer. So basically you loosen up your set screw and you adjust that potentiometer until you get your voltage to read on the screen where you need it to be. So, like I said, header up, voltage up. You want to set it to be about 3.7 or 3.8 volts uh, with the header up off the ground. And that means when you run your header all the way down on the ground, you should be around uh, 1.2 to 1.3 volts. Um, as long as you get a, a one voltage difference in your reading throughout the calibration, and as long as you stay in between one and four volts, you should have a successful calibration but the closer you can get it to those values, uh, the better your header will perform in the field. Uh, next, I'll show you how to adjust the sensors for flex mode. To calibrate your header in flex mode, you've got several different head, uh, sensors across the back of the header. This model is a 35 footer, so it has three on each end. There's actually one under the end shield, one right here, and one closer to the feeder house. To do your adjustments and get it to get it to read on the screen, you actually need to unplug two of the three sensors on each side. And so we've already got those other two sensors unplugged. And that would allow this single sensor to be viewed on the monitor. So a very simple adjustment. There's two uh, screws. You just loosen up the screws and adjust the sensor in the slots. Once you get it positioned where you need it to be, tighten those screws back up and move on to the next sensor. Uh, you would repeat the same process for the right side of the header. Um, we do also um, have a tool available that um, kind of almost looks like a little voltmeter that plugs directly into these sensors so you can read um, your voltage right here at the sensor makes calibration a little bit easier. Uh, once again, you'll be looking to, to hit that range of 1.2 to 1.3 when the header is all the way down and 3.7 to 3.8. Probably the easiest way to do this is to put your header in flex mode 
drop your cutter bar pressure all the way down as low as you can and put your header down on the ground and essentially smash that cutter bar back up so the header is fully flexed and then set that as your 1.2 to 1.3 range. Then once you lift your header up off the ground, uh, your, your voltages should read around 3.7, 3.8. One important thing to remember when you're doing your calibrations, make sure your sensors are hooked up for the mode you want to calibrate in. So these two connections right here need to be reversed depending upon if you're using drag rods for rigid mode or the cutter bar sensors for flex mode. Um, so it's got little tags on here to tell you which, um, which way you need to hook it up. This little box here is called the module, and then this smaller wiring harness right here is called the jumper. So it'll explain how you, how you need to hook those up. Um, also, make sure your pins are always in the rearward position. Um, that way uh, you prevent damage. Those are mostly for a service position. So regardless if you're running in rigid or flex mode, those pins should be in the rear position. Hope this helps you out a little bit. Get ready for your upcoming harvest season. I uh, want to wish you good luck in the field and have a good day.